Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today, we're gonna be starting to tear down the Jetta. Um, so I'm probably gonna, you know, take off the fenders and the hood and the bumper and, and get all that, you know, out of the way um, because it needs to replace anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Just going ahead and just toss it outside for now, um, figure out something to do with it. And uh, probably get rid of like, stuff like the trunk too and stuff, kind of just in the bumper, just making it, you know more bare bones getting ready for that smith build um hopefully coming soon within a couple months i'm not entirely sure how long shipping takes but hopefully it's relatively quick so as soon as i order i can start the build process and stay tuned for when i'm done I'll, i should have a playlist of the whole build so that way you can watch it in order because i might be jumping around between this project and that project now this one i can't do anything with yet until we remove the uh, furnace that's in here um, because this requires being on jack stands which is under my table um, so I can get underneath of it and do fuel lines I'm just not going to worry about that until that thing's gone because we got to roll this one out of the way uh, so that way it doesn't get you know damaged or anything so I really want this stupid furnace gone so hopefully hopefully it happens ASAP but anyway so uh, yeah I'm probably just going to do a time lapse of it um, it's probably how I'm going to go about it and then uh, kind of just go from there and see what I can you know muster up and see how underneath of this and stuff looks uh, I might even keep the bumper just depends on the condition of it because it's yeah it's scratched up but if it's savable I guess I might I might try to save it but I can't tell until it's off so I'm just going to go ahead and get it off because I want to do you know a lot of rust repair if there is any and if there isn't any um, I got Raptor liner uh, paint cans that I'll be coating it with so that way it'll protect it from future rust. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Right, guys so uh this is stuff that i got off so far 
I got the wheel wells, inner fender things, um, the bumper, which I'm not going to save it. It's uh, aftermarket. I, I didn't really look into it much, um, but I'm definitely pretty sure it's aftermarket as it's fiberglass. Um, but I could be wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and get a different bumper. Um, probably be aftermarket anyway, but this one's like way worse than I thought when uh, I was just kind of like, you know, whatever. I'm um, not going to, just going to, you know, not even worry about that. The hood and the two fenders um, I got off so far so uh yeah that wasn't that bad um i did need a breaker bar so i'd actually stop what i was doing to go get a breaker bar um used to have one but i ended up having to sell all, all, all my tools um so we can actually get this house um but yeah so that's kind of what it looks like as of now with the headlights out um they're just chilling over there for right now it's pretty pretty dirty um like all this stuff came out of the uh on both sides came out of the fender it just dropped there was like a whole bunch of dead bugs it almost looked like there's a beehive um in there obviously it's uh not live like a uh, active beehive or whatever but it's super dirty so i'm gonna have to definitely power wash this thing um before i didn't do anything crazy to it um so that way all my new parts you know i install to a you know fresh clean um, clean car that's kind of what I got done today I'm probably gonna go ahead and throw this video up to show you uh, the progress you know try to you know be a little bit more consistent than I was prior and actually you know show you guys uh, doing the work instead of just jump skipping like I used to do back at my old garage because now I actually have room because um, I felt like in the other place that I was at I didn't have room to breathe and that's one reason why um, I sadly had a forgo my project that I was working so long for is that I didn't have the room if I if I lived out here then um, it'd be totally different I'd still have it and still be working on it but because now I actually have the room but back then it's just I couldn't breathe so that's you know part of me why you know I didn't feel myself doing anything uh, but yeah, I'm gonna look at those components and stuff and see what I got um, to figure out got an Amazon list ready to go at a moment's notice to uh, order some stuff for it mostly everything's really cheap so that's a good thing but uh yeah i'll probably catch you guys in the next video um but before i go i guess i'll talk about this so tomorrow the plan is to remove the wood stove so hopefully the wood stove will be out of this shop tomorrow um so the plan is the reason why i'm stopping on this right now is i gotta put the wheels back on and uh so we can push it outside so we can push this as well outside um, so we can back a trailer in here and hopefully get that wood stove out of the way and then once that's out of the way game on for the evil eight so uh, that's when we're gonna start working on that um, and doing everything we can uh, to get that running and driving ASAP but the first things first is getting that wood stove out but uh, yeah I just wanted to give you guys you know a little a little taste of what I got going on and like I said it's really really dirty not to me, it's like, unless the, the dirt is just covering it, it's not all that rusty um, for the most part. One thing I'm gonna do, because I hate, I forgot that uh, German vehicles have uh, lug studs instead of lug nuts. Um, I'm probably gonna convert the lug studs to just a normal stud. Um, I already looked up conversion kits for it. I just think that'll be easier putting the wheel back on instead of trying to find and guide it in. Um, I'm sure there's a better method than what I'm doing, but I would just like to have a normal, you know, stud, you know, wheel. Um, but that's kind of the plans for right now. The next video should be taking out the interior of the rear, at least. The rear interior, um, possibly the trunk, I might go ahead and take out. The only thing I'm wary of is if we got to push this outside when it's raining in the trunk. You know, for the most part, it should be fine. I don't think we'll have that issue. Um, because if I do have to leave this outside for a little bit, you just push it around to the other side. But I don't, I don't like I said, I don't think this is going to be an issue. Also, I'm going to keep it running and driving, I guess, so I can just drive it to the other side instead of pushing it. Um, all I got to do is charge up the battery and it, it should start. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, peace.